hello everyone and welcome to my channel today we're going to be making this little cutie now this is a cover for a terry's chocolate orange or a bath bomb or something similar size which you can use for a christmas gift something to put on the table at christmas time as a favor and an ideal way to use up ends of yarn uh, the designs are christmas pudding an elf hat complete with a pumpkin for Halloween you could embroider a nice leaf on the top I've just used a silk one just for decoration traditional Christmas hat complete with bobble so let's get cracking for this project you're going to need some yarn and I'm using um, a half ball of Dara Moore's anti-pilling Aran yarn in a nice greeny colour tree colour um, you're going to need a scissors and a crochet hook and some beads i think these are called pony beads and i've got them in a red and a white what you're going to have to do is make sure that your crochet hook can go through the center of your bead because we will be threading them on onto the addy as we're knitting along and i'd like to give a shout out to fatima for her video in which she shows how to do that So for the Christmas tree we're going to be knitting 56 rows so we need to do a standard cast on over and under cast on into the yarn feeder and we're going to knit after zeroing my counter 36 rows plain before we start putting the beads on so I will crank away now and come back when I get to 36 rows Coming up to 36 rows now. I'm going to be putting a bead on every four stitches, I believe. It, it, there's going to be a little discrepancy, but it doesn't really matter. And what we need to do is we'll crank forward onto needle one. At needle one, we get the crochet hook and our bead ready. And we pull the yarn out there. So we have a little loop. We put the bead on there. And we put that loop on the end the crochet hook and pull that through the bead so the bead is there then what we do is we thread that loop onto that needle so I hope you can see there you can see with my hands in the way that the bead is now sitting there so we're going to crank forward now four needles and we'll need to pull a little bit of tension on this here to pull that bead it'll start to rise up so just push it down the tad as you crank around it'll rise up so just be careful and crank forward there we go and she's sitting nicely there and we crank forward one two three four so that's one two three four and we put another bead now on this needle and I'm going to do red on my first row. So again, pull that out. So you've got a loop. Put your bead on your crochet hook. Grab the loop. Pull it through. Hook it on that needle. Oops. And then pull the yarn through a little bit there so you can see the bead is sitting there and if it rises up just push it back down and there we go put a little bit a little bit of tension there one two three four grab another bead pull that loop through there put your bead on the crochet hook put the loop at the end of your crochet hook pull the yarn through and hook it over the first needle that's sticking up little tension on the yarn because that is going to want to pop up there we go 
push it down slightly as it's going around and there we go one two three four grab another red bead pull that through bead on there pull the yarn through Not exact science where you put the beads to be honest I'm just kind of spacing them out really it's kind of like when you do your own Christmas tree I'm not too fussy about where the baubles go as long as it looks pretty so a little bit of tension watching that doesn't rise up too much just keeping an eye on it push it down a tad and one two three four and we're back to where we started now what we're going to do now is we're going to knit three plain rows and be careful on the first row because these are a little awkward so as you're going around just push them down there you go as you're coming around to the bead one it'll it'll stick a little bit so push that down take it easy a little bit push that down with a bead on it there you go down she goes Push that down. So there we go. And then you should be right then for the next two rows. Two rows. Three rows. Now, on this one, I'm going to knit past there and I'm going to put a white bead now. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'm going to roughly, I'm going to use this needle here. What the heck? And this is what we do now for the next few rows. Again, pull that out. Changing over to a white bead. Loop on the end of the crochet hook. Pull it through. Pop the loop over the needle. A little bit of tension. Pull that back on there. And just take care when you're moving around because it will want to pop up like that. So just pop it back down and coax it into place. A little bit of tension. I sometimes rock it back and forth. And she should pop down. There she goes. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to put a white one on that one. So that's one, two, three, four white bead on this one you can put as many or as little beads on as you want you can even sew them on afterwards if you didn't want to go to the trouble of doing it this way but I kind of like it it's kind of therapeutic there we go so I hope you're um, there we go that one's a nice easy one one two three four I'm actually going to put it on that one this time so I think I overshot by one bead last time so pull out bead on catch the loop pull it through put the loop on your needle little tension oops I can see it tightening down a little there and then one two three four and as you can see you can see in between the red ones so I'm going to roughly take whatever needle falls in between do it by eye really pull through on with the bead pull through the bead put the loop on your needle A little bit of tension and my dog is barking again happy days and here we go and that knee now is in place so now we're going to do another three rows again watching these as they come up they are a little tight back 
to the red beads. So I'm going to carry on now doing another row of beads, three rows of plain, another row of beads, three rows of plain, which will bring us up to 56 rows, and then we shall finish off our project. So now we've come to row 56. I think I might have done an extra row, but it's neither here nor there. We're going to do a normal cast off. So cut our yarn. Here we are, we have our finished project. So I'll clear the table now and then we'll put it all together. With our finished knitted project off the machine, basically what we've got is a small beanie. So as usual we stretch our work out, don't we? What we're going to do is we're going to push the beads through the work. And there they come. So you just need to go all the way around your project now, just pushing the beads through, and they should pop through pretty easy. There you go, pop them through, all the way around. That's what they look like, and if you want to be a little bit more structured than I am, I think every four needles on average I was, I was putting one. So as with any beanie, we shall turn it inside out. And assemble like a beanie. But for anybody who does um, craft fairs, these are ideal little things for for quick sales, things you can knit up really, really quickly. And it's not going to take a lot of time, and it's not going to take a lot of resources in order to produce some nice little table fillers. I think I'm just going to tie the top quickly. And I've attached um, a little star to the top of mine. So there we go. As you can see, I've added a little decoration star on the top there. So there's the one I've just made compared to the one that I did as a prototype. And again, a little bead has popped through there. Just pop them through. And I'll just take the chocolate orange out of this one. There's the Teddy's chocolate orange. It's terrible I had to go shopping to get two of these today. And you just pop it on there like that. And there you go. So attach whatever um, fancy item you want. Stretch it out a little bit at the top. I'm finding that the 56 rows is spot on for 
for covering the chocolate orange to the table and allowing a little bit of a, a peaky effect at the top there. You could crochet a nice star to go on the top of there, which would be fabulous. So I, you could put a little star on there. You see, you could put a little star. Oh, I've got another one of those big stars there, which I um, connected on with some green cotton. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll detail the pattern layout for each of these separate ones for you to follow along. Okay? And grabbing the chocolate orange or the bath bomb. There you go. Cute. Enjoy! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's just a short little one. I hope it's handy for you. I hope it's useful. Tag me on Instagram if you're on there if you make this video, craftycast33, and I hope to see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Happy crafting, guys. Bye.